Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending November 6th. First up this week, I would like to feature a channel. I was sent this channel by two people, one Jillian and my friend TKTex1, both sent this to me. This channel is called Grout A1. I'll take you right to the channel and show you here. What I really like about this is besides just being a biker, his channel has a huge amount of variety and the reason why two of my friends sent me the channel link is because he has a three-part series on giant wind turbine assembly to where he was able to get real close up and show them putting together one of the giant wind turbines. So, and, and also his channel just has such a variety. I mean, his present video right now on his page is how I heat my house for cheap. He lives up in Canada, so heating costs probably are a, a big factor in any way you can to cut your heating bills or to find an alternative. So if you get a chance, check out. It's it's G-R-O-U-T-A-O-N-E, and it's pronounced Grout A1, and I like that, that even on his web page, he shows how to pronounce his name, because I hate that when people have unusual names, and I get it wrong about half the time. So check him out. Um, he's a great vlogger. He has a great variety of stuff, a uh, bunch of material. There's, It's the kind that I really like. I mean, it's it's geeky. It's It's got bike stuff. It's got a little bit of everything for everybody, so check it out. Didn't you just hate it in high school biology when it became time to dissect the frog? Well, someone here at the Brothers Brick is showing a picture of a Lego anatomically correct frog. And this original picture is actually from a site where people build different things from Legos. And the site is called MOC Pages. Dot com. You can sign up for an account there, and people build all kinds of items out of Legos. Some of it's just absolutely phenomenal. People build ships, reproductions of guns, um, just all kinds of things. I'll, I'll show some of the pictures as we're going along here. We have uh, one guy's got the Admiral Neumo class destroyer, along with a few other different views of it and floating on the water. Then we have a guy that's made a reproduction of an FN assault rifle. It's called an FN SCAR version 2. Really looks super cool. I do like that on the MOC pages too, that they're not afraid to be politically incorrect and let people build what they feel like building. So if you get a chance, it's a, a free account, mocpages.com. Just go there and make an account show your creation, show what you do with Legos. Uh, I think most of us as geeks probably still like to play with Legos once in a while and mock up models and do things like that. I know a lot of people use them in combinations of things they build too. If they build gadgets, sometimes Legos are incorporated in the gadget that you build. So if you get a chance, check it out. And last up, I was sent this by Navy Thomas 8. This is the Microsoft Connect system. It's their game controller system that is supposed to be competition to the Nintendo Wii. In this system, you don't need to use the controller as it actually tracks your arms, your legs, your body movement when you jump and actually uses that as the game controller. So I would be interested if anybody out there of my viewers gets this system, I would love a review of you playing a game and how the controller works because I know when they show you the advertisement, everything always works perfect, but in the real world, that's not always the case. The reviews have been pretty good, and I've seen a couple of independent reviews, so they may have it spot on or pretty close, but... Please, if anybody out there gets a chance to use it, send me information on it. Send me a, a one-minute video of you trying it out and your opinion of it. I would really appreciate that. So that's about it for this week. I will catch you guys next week.